friends welcome back to my channel to those of you who have been my subscribers for a while and if you're new thanks for stopping by this is my breakfast today and um, I was in the mood for some salmon so um, there it is and I put some dill on top it's really good for you and it's delicious it's um, smoked salmon that I get at Costco so uh, you guys can find it there um, it's really really good and then there's some scrambled eggs with some Kerrygold butter on top and I felt like having something crunchy on the side so there go the pork rinds and I like to get the ones without any flavor because they don't have mostly they don't have any MSG um, most people know that MSG is really really bad for you and it has a negative effect also on your insulin so I stay away from it whenever possible and um, those are little hearts of palm so this is what I'm going to be having for breakfast and I'll see you guys for my lunch. Oh wow, those must be some happy chickens. <laughs> this egg is huge, just enormous. You guys need to see what a normal egg looks like and how big this guy is. Whatever we're doing, we're doing right. <laughs> There's a normal egg and this is, this is this guy. Pretty awesome. <laughs> That's what happens when you have happy chickens. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm having this beautiful work of art that you would call a salad. Today um, I made some steamed chicken with uh, smoked paprika on top, some sea salt, um, garlic powder, let's see what else, um, and some onion powder um, topped with, uh, as you see, the cheese, little cheese slices there, the Kerrygold, uh, Kerrygold Dubliner cheese. I really love that cheese. It's really yummy. And then um, the organic leafy greens and there's some, uh, what do you call those things? Um, pumpkin seeds, I can't speak today. Pumpkin seeds and a little bit of um, very, very thinly sliced carrots, a tiny bit of black eyed peas and very small amount of uh, corn. Um, so yeah, that's what I felt like having and I also topped it with some taco seasoning so it has that kind of a southwest-ish flavor. It's really, really delicious. Um, like I said, I don't, um, I don't make stuff like corn and beans totally off limits. I can add, sprinkle in literally a few here and there, so it won't make my carb count go all crazy for the day. So that is totally okay for me. I've, I've always done this, so yeah, you guys don't have to add things like that if you don't want. But like I said, it works for me. Uh, the whole time I was losing weight. Um, I did stuff like that and it never hurt my progress. So, yep, that is my lunch. bone-in chicken I'm doing it has to be 11 pounds of pressure for my altitude and I have to cook it for 75 minutes in these quart jars so and uh, your timing is always gonna vary depending on where you live and what your elevation is so yeah this is really fun <laughs> I must say um, I'm finding this process really really um, interesting and like I said fun so yeah I think well no I know I'm gonna be doing this regularly from now on I'm very excited to finally be doing it and you definitely want to make sure that you're always nearby 
your pressure canner. You do not want to leave it alone for long periods of time um, because if the pressure falls too low, if it falls below what it needs to be, like for me it's 11, if it goes under that, I read that you have to start everything, the whole cooking process basically over again. If you come back to it and it's like down to like a 9 or, or a 10 even for any period of time. So yeah, you don't want to risk, uh, I'm not interested in any botulism, so yeah, just thought I'd add. I'm hearing the jars go ping. <laughs> they're pinging, which means they're sealing. Yeah, you heard that. Let's see if any more left. It smells so good. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. It's working. It's finishing up its little process there. I'll show them to you guys once I get them out with my handy dandy can lifter here. All right, there are my beauties. Look at that. They're still bubbling and sizzling away in there finishing stuff up, but I am so, so happy with the result. This is awesome. I'm going to be canning my little heart out over the next months because we're going to be harvesting our, um, our bowl for meat and, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of canning I'm going to be doing of, uh, organic, pasture-raised, hormone-free meat. So, yeah. This is awesome, you guys. I highly recommend it. It's a bit scary at first because the pressure cooker, people say, it's going to blow up. <laughs> it's not going to blow up if you follow the instructions. So, yeah, I suggest everyone get into this because this is fun. <laughs> really fun. Welcome back to my dinner table. Here is the lovely dish I'm having tonight. Sorry if you're hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, this is some spaghetti squash on, on the bottom layer. And on top of that is some a low carb spaghetti sauce with some Parmesan cheese and Italian seasoning and three strips of bacon, crispy bacon. So yeah, this is going to be an amazing feast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so deprived, aren't I? <laughs> this is awesome. So yeah, that's my dinner, and I'll see you guys in my next video.